This video covers how to fill cells and make measurements using a Rudolf polarimeter equipped with exclusive and patented Temptrol heating and cooling system. Although this demonstration is done using an Autopol 5 Plus, the procedure is similar for all models equipped with Temptrol. Before making the measurement, I've prepared the following. Two 3ml syringes, a 40T 5 100-2 cell, the blank and the sample to be measured. With the polarimeter, the first step is select the method, press methods, select the method, press set. In this case I'm measuring sucrose, so I've selected the sucrose method. First, check that the cell is empty and dry. The easiest way to do this is to look down the cell, hold it up to the light and look along the bore. Fill the syringe with the blank. It's important to note that in this case, for the video, I'm using sucrose and water, which obviously is not harmful, but in a real life laboratory environment would be preferable to wear gloves while doing this. Air bubbles are your enemy in this situation, so I will remove the air bubbles before I put them into the cell. I hold the cell in one hand, the syringe in the other hand, I make sure the top of the cell is pointing towards the ceiling, and I place that inside there. I will now slowly inject the sample into the cell while looking at the end, and when I see the sample appear at the other end, I will place a cap on the cell, place a cap on the other end of the cell, and now we're ready for measurement. Now that I've filled the cell, I'll place it inside the instrument. I'll place it in the trough and move it to the right-hand side. When placing the cell inside the trough, ensure that the back part of the cell mates correctly with the temptrol section at the back of the trough. This is important because this is the section where the heat is transferred across. Ensure that the cell is not canted like so or like so. I'll lift the temperature sensor. I'm going to place the temperature sensor inside the cell. The temperature sensor goes in this small hole at the back of the cell. Close the door and we're now ready to blank the instrument. Now that we have completed blanking the instrument, put the temperature probe back in the holder and we empty the cell. After emptying the cell, we'll reload with sample, perhaps two or three flushes of sample so it's not diluted by the blank. We'll now place the cell back in the chamber. Temperature sensor inside the cell. Slide the cell to the end. And I can push the start button. The instrument is now going to ask me for the concentration. I key in the concentration that I've made the sample to. Oh, 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 in this case. Press set. The system now will bring the sample to the required temperature. For sucrose this is 20 degrees, for other materials it may be 25 or even at different temperatures. When the sample is stable at the required temperature it will measure. It will measure the optical rotation and display this under the live reading. It will then calculate the specific rotation using the formula within the USP and display on the main screen. In this case we're just looking at the screen. We could also have the instrument connected to a network and it would save automatically to the network or we could have it connected to a printer and the result would print automatically. Mm -hmm.